Greetings YouTubers, 2006 Trailblazer. Today I'm going to show you how to get the door panel off of this 2006 Trailblazer 4.2. A little different from the 2002 up to 2006. They changed it a little bit on the 2006. Now see a lot of guys breaking stuff. There's a couple of, uh, there's one hidden bolt here that you really need to know about. But basically there's a door panel and I have the... Um, Automatic door locks and power windows and all that. Nice looking. And um, someone's worked on the vehicle before me because I just got it not long ago. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and take off this piece here. Now, you got to be careful. This is one that come off on the uh, driver's side that someone took off before I got here. Got it here and had a chance to do anything to it. And you can see they broke these little tabs off right here. Well, show you how to get this off without doing that. First thing you gotta do is grab a little screwdriver like this, and on the inside up here, there are little places that you can push right about there and right here. And if you push those tabs in, and usually I can do this with one hand. Let's see if I can get this one over here. Push it on this one, that will allow this piece to pop off. So you have to kind of take your time at it and not kind of break it, you know. So uh I think I got that one loose, and let's see, I've got one more here on the bottom. If we can get that, then we're home free. Pull that one off, there we go. All right, so let me set the camera down and get the other one without breaking it. All right, all right, so there's that one, and voila, and look at that. Did not break any of them, so we're off to a good start. So we'll put that off to the side. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and take a screwdriver. Now, on some of the uh, other vehicles, they only have one clip. This one here has two little clips that you just kind of pull this whole thing up and get it up out of the way. On the Ford Explorers, they have one clip and they have a hook that goes up under here. And I see guys prying on this and they just break it right off. So, luckily, we don't have that on this. So, get the screwdriver up under here and pop this up like that. And same thing here, pop up on that, and there that comes out, and you can see how that is. So I like this design a lot better. Now the next thing we got to do is go ahead and unplug all these wires. I'll have to set the camera down for that. Pretty easy to do. All right, so there's one, one out of the way. These two bigger ones here can be a little tricky if you just take the screwdriver and push up on that tab right there that should take that right off there it goes pop this one out of the way and same thing with this big blue one here actually you can just grab it like this and probably just pull it out perhaps I can maybe I won't maybe I won't well, let me grab it with both hands all right there it is so we got that off and we did not break a thing. Yay! All right, so there we go. We got that. And we'll just kind of tuck these wires down in here. Now there's a screw that we have to take out, the 10 mil screw bolt right here where my finger is. And I hope that shows up because it doesn't look like it's showing up on the camera. So we're gonna get that out. Let's go ahead and get this one out here. And what we got to do, we gotta, I got to take this panel off. None of these speakers work. The only speakers that work is that little tweeter over there. And I think this tweeter. All four of these speakers in this vehicle are gone. <laughs> what are the odds of that, right? I've had a problem with trailblazers and speakers. A lot of them have this issue. So that's why I want to get in here and get this door panel off. Just to see what the speakers look like and if I can just get some aftermarket round speakers and put in here so there is that one and now for the uh, the mystery bolt you look all day here and you won't see it until I tell you where it's at see this right here see way down in there there's a hole get you a long extension like this put it way down in here and this is how you get this bolt out now what you want to do is get you a little piece of tape and put on here to help hold that bolt when you pull it out and you can see I have a piece of masking tape on there. And now we'll shove this down in there. I think I got it there. It's kind of... There it is. All right. Now we can start taking this thing out. Ugh. And I see a lot of guys break these door handles by pulling on this and never getting this bolt out. All right. So there we go. 
Let's hope this tape holds that bolt. Because if you don't put tape on there, that bolt will just fall off. And you'll have to search for it. All right, there it is. I see it's loose. Oh, socket's down in there. I gotta grab my socket now. Socket out. Come on out, baby. That's how well that tape is holding that. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Little bolt. Well, at least I know the bolt's out. Yeah, it's out down there. So now I'm getting my magnet and pull it out, I guess. I was hoping that would work. Let me just try this a second time. It should come out. I've done it this way before. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. There we go. Hey, it worked. But nevertheless, if it doesn't work, get your magnet and just fish it out. Get it out of there. So there's that one. And now, um, I don't have a spud tool here to get in behind here. You can just get a screwdriver and start prying this apart and getting your fingers behind here. But make sure you don't get something very sharp because you don't want to scratch up your paint. I've already got that kind of loose. And I hate this part. It sounds like you're tearing everything up. So you got to start like pulling, pulling on stuff here. And on the bottom, there's some clips. All right, there's that one. I think we got... All right, there's that one. And now we should be able to just pull out. And there's going to be one more clip here. Grab that, and now, voila, let's see. Off comes our door panel, how about that? Nice and easy. Yay, now here is the bolt <laughs> that's way down in here that you have to get. When you go to put this back on, my best, best advice is, is put tape back on that socket and slowly fish it back down in here. That's how that comes out. And how many clips did I break? I uh, broke one right there. But it looks like I got most of them out without breaking them. And we're good. And that's just a reflector light. There's nothing to worry about there. And here's what we got to take care of. Three, two, one. And there is our speaker. And this is a six and a half inch speaker. Now they make a kit that you can buy and put round speakers on. But I'm going to try just pull this out and uh, put a small speaker in because... The tweeter actually still works. Let's see, this is clear across at six inches, but if I measure just the inside diameter of the speaker, it's five and a half inches. So I gotta be careful what I'm ordering here. So I want the entire speaker to be six inches across, the in inner part to be five and a half. So this will be my plan. This will be a separate video, but for this video, the purpose here was just to show you how to get this door panel off so you don't bust it. And putting it back on, just reverse all the steps and all that. So so hopefully this will help you guys out. If it does, hey, give me a thumbs up. So until my next video, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.